Thank you, thank you very much. Um, before being happy again, I have a very sad news for you. Um, the two fellows I should be on stage with, the two directors who worked on this uh, wonderful project, um, Pierre Dupaquier and uh, Clément Duroux, also known as uh, We Are From LA, couldn't be here on stage with me because they were um, scouting some locations in, Sp in Spain. So that's sad, but I will be the only one telling you the story behind the uh, world's first 24-hour music video. So to cheer you up, uh, let's begin with what we'll be dealing with for this conference. Which is this website. Um, I think I will need sound too for that. Okay, I think I heard it enough because, you know, working on this uh, more than 24 hours, you know, you're like, okay, I like the song, but it's okay. Um, well, I, I lied because uh, we, will be w we will be talking about this project, but maybe something like in 10 minutes. Because before I wanted to, um, before getting the heart of the matter, I wanted to introduce uh, the, the main entities who worked on, on this project. The first one is Anonymous. This is the company I've been working for um, since uh, 2010. Uh, this is a small team of nine people um, who is definitely not part of the uh, international group of activists. So please stop, send us emails, we won't save the world with you. <laughs> okay. Uh, in fact, we are just a group of uh, innocent people, uh, innocent friends, representing a digital production company founded in, uh, t in 2003 by Marc Guillaume. Um, the guy isn't here, he's on stage, isn't, he isn't here because he's always in the rush, um, always running everywhere. So why digital production company? Um, in France, communication market is bound to good old uh, TV clips. It's the, the, the most budgets and IDs uh, go to video production companies. Um, that's why we try to adopt the, the same model than them. It's not about strategy, it's about uh, production and production only. That explains uh, our name. We work in the shadow of uh, big advertisement companies um, because we believe that in order to work for the big accounts, uh, we need to work for their agencies. You know, they are used to, uh, to, to, to managing uh, their accounts uh, on a yearly basis. Uh, that's, that's why we think we should work with them, not directly for, for the big guys. Uh, moreover, uh, they they act like a, a proxy between us and the final client. You know, um, they are equipped for that. They have uh, thousands of um, of guys uh, who know the brands, who know how to talk to them. So we think it's okay to deal with the with these lads um, who obviously know about digital. The second entity is Iconoclast. Um, it's a video production company um, and it actu actually represents the We Are From LA and many more talented uh, directors such as uh, Romain Gavras, Jean-Baptiste Mondino, etc. And uh, most of the time, um, digital production requires film uh, production. And because we don't want to be specialized in this specific fields, we've been asso associated with uh, Iconoclast uh, as Iconoclast Interactive. Wow, contrast. That's wonderful, okay. <laughs> nice. Um, it's written Iconoclast. That, that's why you love before, okay, I, I, <laughs> I understood. Um, <laughs> so, uh, we, we've been associated with them to merge um, the very best knowledge of uh, video makers and uh, digital producers. And um, I think, um, contrary to n northern countries, it's uncommon to uh, make worldwide digital campaigns in France. Um, we hope this new partnership will, will uh, give us the strength to export our know-how. So highly interactive websites field uh, is not the only one we explore. We 
think we need to uh, branch out uh, to be more inspired on each project we make. Uh, that's why we, we think visual identities is, um, is a field we, we, we need to, to practice, we need to, uh, to explore, finally. So um, this is, um, this is um, the first example of identity we designed for a video company named Control. Well, this is some example of, um, of graphic dec declension from paper to digital, um, mobile and websites. Uh, second example is um, Amelia, Amelia Tabella, which is uh, an, architect, uh, an architect group uh, composed of three girls. So here, this is almost the same. You, you have the, the paperwork, um, cards, um, uh, postal cards too, etc., etc., et and the, the digital stuff uh, which goes with it. Okay, um, digital economy sometimes runs low on money when it comes to motion design. Uh, we feel like we have to be able to propose such, um, such a service. Uh, some projects would never have born if we, um, if we couldn't make it uh, by, by, uh, by ourselves. Um, because, you know, when you, have to, um, when you have to call a traditional external um, post-production company, it costs a lot. Uh, so um, here is extracts of uh, what we did in a limited time and, and a limited budget. Motion plus uh, vis visual identities uh, mostly leads to interactive websites, and that's what we like to do, obviously. Uh, it leads us to a huge blend of skills. Um, not that kind of blend, obviously. Uh, I think this is my favorite slide, sorry. Can we, can we stay on this? <laughs> um, well, it was for an information website on the rapid HIV testing organized by AIDS Association. Uh, so GWT came to us with a simple concept. It was um, that you can actually do a lot with a finger. You, you could do testing, but you could also um, you could also play some some kind of weird instruments, organic instruments. Where is my mouse? Okay, here it is. No, it's not here. Okay, I got, got the control of it. Um, so it was firstly made as a, an Android application. Um, that made sense, it's all about touch, you know. Uh, but we thought that, um, that we, should, sh we should make a website out of it because it was really simple. We had all the assets, you know, and integrate them in a website wasn't that hard. Uh, so, you know, you have the, the booby claps and stuff like this. Um, another one I want to show you is, is this one. Um, it was 50,000 uh, pixels of uh, pictures, uh, animated drawings, and, uh, and motion, and, and everything was based on, on SOMI drawings. Uh, so we, we had uh, plenty of, of unique interactions uh, in this in this website, who, uh, who uh, which uh, regrouped ten years of Ed Banger's uh, archives. It was made for the, for the for the ten years anniversary. Um, so uh, this was actually the, the first um, the first um, um, 
brainstorm from Somi uh, about uh, justice. So you, you could draw on, on, the, on this uh, well. And you have plenty of this kind of interaction. So um, this is the first uh, thing we, we've made with uh, Iconoclast, as Iconoclast Interactive. The we are from LA, we're on, on this project too. Uh, it was for still for the 10th anniversary of Ed Banger. Uh, but this time it was for the live. Um, it was um, a live broadcast from a YouTube channel. So it was... Um, it was really some kind of... Um, of a huge pressure to us because it was live and it was the first the first time we we worked on a, on a live project for for digital uh, we had um, seven cameras or eight uh, and we had a specific uh, interaction above this camera on the youtube channel so we were in this in this huge truck um, looked like the enterprise uh, and and above all the cameras you could take the control of something here you could take the control of the light well, Virtually, of course, uh, you could switch uh, from feeds to feeds um, and 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 take the control of, of, of the, the party. Uh, it was made for the guy who couldn't attend the the event. You could even uh, draw on a drunk guy. Well, uh, that was the Wafla ID, you know. <laughs> we are from the ID. And uh, well, it was. It was a huge success, I think, because uh, I think we can bring digital in, in in live events too, and that was the first try to us, but that was very exciting. So uh, to close this chapter, um, yeah, all of this website were made in Flash. Sorry, but uh, you know uh, we couldn't deal with the. Um, the, the, the vector graphics animations that is really in, in HTML and, and it was um, more than a year ago so maybe we could be excuses for that. But <laughs> I want uh, to end uh, all of this with a, with a Flash website uh, just to show you that um, finally we can also make powerful interactive experience um, with with HTML finding uh, workarounds uh, to make it work with 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 other technologies. <coughs> so uh, that was for Ibis. Um, you know the guy is sleeping uh, on the top of, of this mountain. Uh, don't ask me why that's the concept. Uh, and you had you had this kind of map. Um, you you could use an, as a navigation, and everything here is made uh, is made out of uh, CSS free. Uh, so it would be compatible with, with, with iPads and, and tablets. Um, that's why we have to, to innovate, to find, to find ways uh, to, um, you know, to make something new out of new technologies. Um, finally, let's go back to the main subject, which is happy, 24 music video. Um, In fact, uh, let's see uh, where the concept came from. Um, most of the time, digital creatives uh, love to put plenty of small ideas together to make something big. Uh, while advert advertisers uh, are used to find a single idea, uh, but which is really big at the beginning. Uh, we think here uh, it's, um, it's a good blend of, of the both worlds. Um, many, many small things, um, tiny details we, we, we came to. and. Um, and one big concept, one big ID, uh, the the we are formally um, bring us. Uh, so uh, on the left you have Clément Duroux, on the right you have uh, Pierre Dupaquier. Uh, so they can choose with a with a powerful concept, which is this one. You already have heard of. Um, but uh, they had it for a while. This concept, they, they had it for maybe, maybe something like a year. But uh, label, labels are skeptical when, uh, when it comes to, uh, to digital. They only trust what they know. And what they know is, um, is movie clip and, uh, and, and live events and stuff like this. But when it comes to digital, something uh, begins to be a little rough. Um, so they had, the way are formula, um, to, to find one who would be crazy enough to accept this concept. And uh, finally, it was uh, Pharrell William uh, through um, Johan Lemoine who, who 
gave them a call and uh, he um, they you know they they had uh, L Johan Lemoine on the phone uh, who was like okay uh, I know Farah William and he would be in for your concept they were like okay we'll do it and in in, in a second uh, it was like signed and, and and they went to LA to see him and whatever uh, what's inside uh, this uh, movie video uh, it's sir, it's uh, 360 unique clips uh, made out of uh, 427 dancers uh, composed of uh, professionals and people found nearby. In fact, they, they they were walking in the streets and sometimes they found a guy who who looked creepy or or, or marvelous or whatever. He asked they they ask uh, him if he want to wanted to be part of the experience and sometimes it uh, it leads to 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 something really nice uh inside of this clip you have four, four, 44 sorry not 44 24 of them are clips staring Pharrell Williams uh that's one per hour in a 24 hour and you also had some uh, entertainments uh, added by the directors. Uh, you know, um, we they scattered uh, celebrities uh, through the video uh, to give a, a name to uh, to visitors. Uh, finding these special guest scattered through the video uh, would um, allow the the guys to to spread the video, to spread ideas, to to write about uh, the video, about uh, hey, did did you find Magic Johnson? Uh, did you find the, the minions or whatever? Uh, Jim, Jimmy Carroll, etc. So uh, they. They had the honor to, uh, you know, to be with this big guy. Um, they they were in his trophy room, and and it was a huge experience for for them. Really, all all fun for them. Um, what was uh, well? It's eleven days of shooting in uh, Los Angeles, so it's quite a short role. Uh, there were no rehearsal, uh, no second take, and it was obviously a very long uh, walk for the stage type operator. Uh, per day, he was he was uh, running like for 50 kilometers. So, uh, how would we navigate throughout this massive video content? Um, the answer is sort of simple at the first glance. It's a timeline because it's a video, but. Uh, direct was uh, made a video without thinking about uh, user interface. The, they first wanted the classic linear navigation you can find uh, anywhere on the internet, like on Vimeo or YouTube. Um, but how would you symbolize the strength of the concept, uh, which is 24 hour of video? Uh, how do you sim symbolize the, the infinite loop of this concept? Um, we thought uh, it would be very important to, to try to have a, a, an interface as powerful as the concept. So, um, it was logic at first to be inspired by the design of a clock, of course, symbolizing time. Uh, but if you think about it, clocks are built on a 12-hour 12, 12 basis. Uh, 24 hours is the duration of a full rotation of Earth. Yeah, I've never seen a clock of 24 hours. Uh, so this, con this consideration uh, rose new um, new issues we'll see right after. Um, we tried many designs, but the main idea was uh, already there. We had this circular timeline, um, and and here are some of the tries we we made. So at the beginning we had um, an outer circle for for the whole 24 hours. And, and an inner circle. The, the inner circle was made uh, to navigate through the four minutes video, um, but finally uh, the, uh, the directors uh, removed it to keep the continuity between uh, the sick and the video. We also tried this uh, naive attempt uh, of, uh, to represent the, the cock. Um, but uh, every time you, you had the time in, in, in the center of the video, which is, which is the, main, um, the main information you have to deal with uh, as a visitor. So this is the, the, the final version of it. Um, finally, it was uh, more and more simple. Uh, everything we tried to add, uh, we finally uh, simplified it uh, to, to keep it pure. 
Um, we also had this kind of stuff at the beginning uh, to uh, to symbolize the um, the time, you know, because um, we didn't know if the user would understand, uh, uh, you know, how how to um, what was the relation between uh, him dragging the timeline and, and the time going going back. Uh, so we finally decided to remove uh, this thing because it was maybe too much. We, Still wanted to keep it pure, but we added uh, we added you know four points, uh, which are sunrise, noon, um, you know sunset and midnight. Just for the guy who wanted to to know uh, where they where they were, because when you are in, um, when you have a timeline, a circular timeline, you don't know actually uh, where it starts. Um, you know it depends on cultural um, on cultural side. Uh, so uh, we wanted to make it start at the top. And what would be the top? Would it be midnight or, or noon? We don't even know. Uh, but we wanted to start it at, at the bottom of it. Um, finally, we made uh, the director's way on the top, but we, we wrote uh, all around um, you know, uh, the... Um, we wrote it down so to know... Well, whatever, next slide. This one. <laughs> um, the important thing here is is Farrell. Finally, uh, this is his uh, clip, and and we symbolized uh, how to find the guy uh, through um, through uh, small navigation points. Um, you have on the right and on the left uh, two buttons, which are the, pre the prevnext buttons, uh, which allows you to uh, navigate um, from a clip to another one. So basically, it means you can switch dancer uh, without losing uh, the um, the music continuity. And finally, uh, you you had um, of course the basic um, the basic uh, buttons of controlling video. Uh, such as uh, quality, etc., etc., and I forgot the view counters. Uh, yes, it sounds very uh, 2000, you know, uh, to to make a view counter on a website. Uh, but people got used to it with YouTube when it comes to video, and and I think it it was really um, uh, really important to uh, to put it here. Um, another part of this website, uh, more or less hidden was the, the comments. Uh, we had two solutions. We, uh, we could integer uh, um, a comment module completely standalone in the website, or uh, we could use uh, social networks uh, to, to make it work. So these are four, um, four ideas, four, um, four screens of uh, research, graphic research about, uh, about this. Um, you know, Every time, except for, for, for the one on the top right, uh, it was, um, it was um, a single page. We wanted to separate the action of, of navigating through the video and of navigating through the comments. Even though uh, you, could, you could navigate from the comments to the video. So it was considered as a, as a second navigation too. Um, the top right uh, was excluded by default because we didn't want to, uh, those two actions to, to fight uh, one against the other. So uh, this is the final, the final version of the, of the comments, uh, which comes from uh, Twitter, finally. This is a huge Twitter feed. Uh, redesigned to, to fit the, the video needs. So on the left, you you had uh, a simplified navigation, a simplified um, navigation of the hours, and on the middle you have obviously the comments, uh, and you could uh, comment a specific, uh, a specific um, uh, location in the video. So when you would be commenting uh, right, right now here at, at uh, not at twelve, but at the, the, the time of the video, uh, we would propose uh, an extension to the extension to the um, URL. Uh, to go directly um, at this point in the video when you would share it. Um, 
the second av advantage of um, of uh, being based on on Twitter is that uh, it goes viral uh, very quickly with with this kind of tool. We know it was uh, it was very hidden. It was on the on the bottom uh, right uh, with the other other buttons of the video control. Um, but only only um, maybe ten ten tweets from uh, from celebrities would be enough uh, to spread the word and to make it go viral to uh, to Facebook and other so social platform. Um, yeah, one word about this screen. It was it's the credits. Maybe nobody clicked on on, on this button. I think here. <laughs> Um, but it was a, a list so huge you, you cannot imagine. We uh, we struggled uh, for maybe two weeks, uh, changing little names everywhere because we we had new version every time, and it was really complicated because we were dealing with um, with the guy uh, from um, um, from the from the clip uh, from New York. Uh, so uh, we had uh, a time delay. Uh, so every time we had to make a modification, it took like like one or two days, and and it really uh, screwed the developer who was in charge of it. So finally, it comes to user testing, uh, where Target was really mainstream. Uh, it was uh, made to. Um, it was made for everybody, uh, children, your mother, your father, you, yourself. Uh, so uh, user testing has to be done on a wide variety of people. But we, we, no, you know, we do not, uh, we do not do A/B testing. We do not do that kind of serious stuff. So we only ask it to our mother. Finally, uh, yes, this is mine. She's a badass because she has two screens. So uh, th the test goes very well. Uh, she understood uh, how it was working. She first tried to to go on on, on the next video. Uh, she understood it was about 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 time, about uh, maybe not about 24 hours, but she understood that she would control the time, um, modifying this timeline, dragging around, um, and uh, there is only one thing she didn't get. Um, the P inside the little buttons. Uh, no, it's not for pose, it's for Farrell. Sorry. Um, so after that, uh, we had all the graphic elements, but you know, we had to make it work. So you cannot really predict how successful you'll be, uh, but you have to be prepared for a heavy load worldwide. Uh, when you deal with, uh, with Farrell, you know, you you can't mess with it. Uh, this guy is, has a powerful community. Uh, he's got fans from all over the world, all over the world. So you can't mess with that. So was it a success finally? Uh, and we had 2.2 uh, millions of visits the first two days. Uh, it was really uncontrolled. Uh, we we had to wait that Farrell uh, tweet tweeted for for us to be able to communicate, and there was a leak in a French newspaper. Uh, so we were like, oh, we cannot communicate it about it, and we saw the the, the numbers going really big, uh, like uh, uh, like up to uh, twenty thousand connection at the same time, and we're like, no, we cannot do anything. We're looking at Twitter. We are we were you know we were losing followers. For God's sake, um, the average visit duration was more than six minutes, which is really huge for a website. Uh, usually, it's like 30 seconds. The guy comes, see the interface, uh, and after that, he he leaves because yes, it was it was nice, but he he didn't get the point of the website uh, when it comes to interactive websites, of course. Um, of course, we are dealing with video. Uh, we are dealing with uh, massive content of, of, of video, and, and we need to uh, to evaluate the cost be before launching launching the project. So, how would we host this content? Uh, the first month we had five million and five um, and a half uh, real visits. Um, that represents uh, three three hundred and eighty terabytes of video, and. Uh, almost 24 terabytes of image downloaded for a total of 
something like 400 terabytes. Uh, that's really huge, and if we were hosting it in the cloud, it, was, it would have cost us this, according to the Amazon monthly uh, pricing calculator. Um, when you deal with a uh, label, you don't want that bill, because you know, they do not necessarily have, have the money to, to pay for that. So the first solution is, was very simple. YouTube, you can host video for free with them. But you have to deal with their constraints. The first one was uh, that you are limited to uh, 64 gigabytes of uploaded file. Uh, our four four, um, 24 hour of video uh, was like uh, 500 uh, gigabytes. So we had to split it into uh, six videos. Um, the video could not be pr private. Uh, you, if you want to embed it on a website, it can only be public. So every lad who found the, um, um, the ID of the video could find it on YouTube. Um, there were some kind of strange video duration. For an hour, we, we had an extra four seconds. We didn't know where did that come, but we dealt with it. Um, YouTube view counts could not be retrieved. So the view counter has to be made uh, by hand. Um, also, we have to deal with the iframe black box. You know, the uh, the player is in a is in an iframe, so you have no control uh, of uh, what is going on inside of it. That leads us to uh, the fear of Tuesdays. Why Tuesdays? Because every Tuesday, uh, YouTube is updating his API. So the sit the site went down two Tuesdays <laughs> for maybe something like half an hour because we were like, oh shit, where, where does it come from? So we had to, to look around to search for solutions uh, as quickly as possible. Um, and um, there were also uh, some, um, some issue with Internet Explorer. I know it's a sponsor, sorry. But uh, we only made it compatible until last week because the iframe of YouTube is definitely not well working with, uh, with Internet Explorer. It actually works only on, um, in, um, in Internet Explorer 11 and doesn't even work in, in 10. We don't know why it's... Screw it. <laughs> so it comes to server optimization. Uh, yeah, it's a little nerd, but, uh, you know, uh, we started uh, with that kind of, of graphics. Um, in, in green, it's the uh, total requests um, accepted by the server, and, and of course, in orange, this is the one who, who failed uh, to, to pass the test. Uh, so we, 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 we put it to the limit uh, in order to, uh, to secure it when... when when we had a lot of people on, on it. So this is after, after the tuning. So we spent a lot of time uh, dealing with the content to deliver static content to make it, to make it work really quickly. Um, it comes to crowd involvement and media coverage. Um, we are in the middle of um, what we would call a happy movement. Um, I know it's a stupid name. But uh, that's what's happening. Uh, the same week, the, we, we launched the website. Uh, Stefan Sagmeister introduced uh, his exhibition of the, um, of the happy, theme, happy theme at La Gaîté Lyrique. Uh, also, the, the brand Morgan, which is a French one, just got a new slogan, uh, which is uh, happy is new chic. Uh, so I think this is all because of the global crisis, maybe. Maybe people want to be happy again. Uh, <laughs> maybe they, are, they, they don't want to be sad anymore. I don't know, but, but it works. Uh, because the, so the first two days, we, we had the two million uh, people. But after that, you know, the, it goes pretty linear. Uh, we, we are um, running on the base of, uh, of uh, 70,000 uh, users on a day. So, um, and 31% of them are returning user. Um, so I need some fellas need their dose of happy every day. Well, this is some remakes. Uh, people, yeah. 
people from worldwide may, are making some remakes, so they, you know, they really, they really love the concept and they are trying to be part of it, to, uh, to get involved uh, inside of it. One is from uh, Dubai, another from uh, Tokyo. And in fact, a website came out of it. Uh, we are happy from, and it lists all the happy remakes uh, we have in the world. Well, that, that was really impressive. When we saw that, we were like, okay, what we did is huge uh, and, and creepy too. <laughs> um, after that, uh, there were also some commercials out of it, uh, for maybe, uh, like this one, the Dr. Dre Beats uh, with Pharrell. And um, to conclude on this, uh, uh, this uh, song, the, the song Happy, who were in Des Despicable, Despicable Me Too, sorry, complicated name for a French guy, um, you know, it was a notice uh, at, the, um, at the release of the movie. Um, nobody really was interested in, in that song, but after everybody um, talk about uh, that kind of project and 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 talking about the um, the forming invasion of the uh, of the YouTube um, uh, of the uh, of the clip, um, it came uh, to be uh, in the top chart of of iTunes like this one. So uh, I think that the job is nicely done, uh, and this is the second most downloaded uh, song in the um, on the world iTunes. So. So, I thank you. <laughs> I thank everybody for being there. Thank you, Leo.